I'm not doing the marathon, I'm just gonna have a fun cruise. Hey everyone, just over halfway right now. Just taking a little break here at the Victoria International Airport. I got my pilot's license a couple years ago. Find one of those guys right there. A little Cessna 172. Long run day. I'm over halfway, so I'm gonna finish my full run. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna attempt to do it. I'm gonna be running 26 kilometers today. We've got our luau tomorrow, which is gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Hopefully the weather holds out for us. Um, forecast is calling for rain but it is also calling for rain today and it's not raining it's a beautiful day well it's perfect for running maybe not perfect for a luau but at the same time help keep the heat down too so maybe that's a pretty good thing but I got a long way to go it's like an hour and a half to go or whatever so I better get to it talk to you in a bit that run was way more difficult than I thought it would be and my legs are pretty sore right now it was pretty good up until around 18k, and then that last 8k was pretty tough. It actually turned out to be 26 and a half kilometers all in, and the last eight was just a mix of walking and running, and it was an atrocious time of like three hours and 13 minutes or something. It was took me way too long, but I did it. It's also making me second guess if I want to run the marathon, because then that way I also have to. Be really careful about how I eat and drink while I'm on the Hawaiian cruise that's coming up soon. Part of me just wants to say, you know, I'm not doing the marathon, I'm just gonna have a fun cruise. But we'll see how I feel next week. I'm not counting it out yet, I'm still gonna keep training. So I've been uh, challenged for the ALS bucket challenge by my friend Gail Palace, and uh, so I, I well, I'm do the challenge, sure. Also, there's a lot of hate about the uh, ice bucket challenge going around on the internet, too. Lots of people dissing it, but I think it's awesome that someone has taken something silly like one of these challenge videos and made it worthy. Worth something, you know? Made it something that's good instead of people just being silly and doing silly things. It's uh, taking advantage of social media, how videos can go viral and how things can go viral like that. Sure, there's a lot of people who are just doing it to be on camera. They might not even be donating anything at all, but it doesn't matter. Just look at how much money ALS has gotten out of this whole campaign, so I think it's great. I think there's also some haters out there that are just jealous that they didn't think of it for their worthy cause or charities. So, you know, no hating. It's awesome. Jump on board. You don't have to dump the ice on yourself, but you should give. I think that it should be renamed. I think that at this point, we've all seen the articles and everything, ALS is doing very well from this. And for anyone who knows anyone afflicted by ALS or anyone themselves that are dealing with it, they're very appreciative and I'm sure it's something that's very important to them, but there's many different worthy causes that are important for us all, so I think we should call it the uh, MWC Challenge, the uh, Many Worthy Causes, and uh, if challenged, just make a donation to whichever cause is the most important or the most worthy in your opinion. So for me, what I've done instead is I'm going to Drink a glass of ice water. Mm, delicious. And I'm going to give $100 to the Alzheimer's Society. So that's what I'm doing. MWC Ice Bucket Challenge. Many worthy causes. So choose a worthy cause that's uh, important to you and uh, make a donation. You don't need an excuse like uh, pouring a bucket of ice on your head or not pouring a bucket of ice on your head. And... Uh, you can uh, make a donation to any worthy cause. You don't really need an excuse, but this is a good wake-up call, a good reminder. For all of us who are doing pretty well off in life and have some money and we can afford to buy ridiculous priced coffees and that kind of stuff, we can uh, chip in a little bit of money to help a worthy cause. It's something that's worthy to us. So, like I say, Alzheimer's Society was where I'm putting my money. You decide where you put yours. And so I am challenging all of you, not just two people or whatever, anyone who watches this video, you've been challenged. So there, you can either 
pour some ice on your head and give ten dollars to charity or worthy cause or you can choose not to pour the ice on your head and give a hundred dollars or you could choose to just give any money at all to any worthy cause no excuses no reasons other than it feels good to give and there's a lot of people and a lot of different causes that need our help and I'm pretty sure that anyone who's watching this video can afford to help out in some way. So I challenge all of you. As always, if you want to see last week's video, give it a click. If you want to see the whole playlist of everything that's happened so far, give that a click. And uh, if you're new, or even if you're not new but you've forgotten to and all of these videos leading up to the marathon here, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, come on. See you next week.